The worlds of motorbikes and tattoos have long been kindred spirits. Bikers use tattoos for personal reasons as well as their social attitude. In post-war America, they often led a turbulent lifestyle. The angst of many young people eager to break free from the social conventions of the 1950s was expressed in joining motorcycle clubs and getting tattoos. Some 60 years later, an artistic vision came to life which references those traditions and presents the story of a man with strong character and a turbulent life. This is The Recidivist. The Recidivist is a custom bike inspired by the art of permanent body adornment. Motorcycles are commonly adorned with tattoo motifs using an airbrush. However, the uniqueness of the recidivist lies in the fact that the bike's entire construction is covered in light-colored cowhide leather, similar to the color of human skin, which is actually tattooed. References to the traditions are expressed not only in the bike's theme, but also in its construction, which includes elements that draw from the look of tattoo machines. All of these parts are fully operational elements of the bike's construction, and the mechanisms of these elements operate the same way as in the original tattoo machines. The bike's front suspension has the look of a traditional coil tattoo machine. The ignition plug is made using a real, modern tattoo gun. The exhaust pipe looks exactly like a modern tattoo machine, including the tattooing needles which, when you start the bike, move exactly as they do when the tattoo machine applies ink under someone's skin. Referring to the history of motorcycle communities, the machine's construction is based on many technical solutions referring to the turbulent lifestyle of post-war bikers. The brake pump lever is shaped in the form of a section sign. The front calibers look like handcuffs. The clutch and brake handles are formed in the shape of butterfly knives. The gear shift lever is made from a real crowbar. The tail lights look like brass knuckles. The kickstarter is shaped like a bomb detonator lever. The recidivist uses a Hardy Davidson Heritage model as a base. From the original machine, only the engine, a twin cam 96 cubic inch displacement, and part of the frame are left. All other construction elements and mechanisms have been created by the builders at Game Over Cycles, such as a 250 spoke wheel or the clutch with over 500 elements. The bike's unveiling took place in September 2014 at the London International Tattoo Convention, the most prestigious body adornment convention in the world. Tattoos decorating the motorcycle refer to motifs decorating the bodies of people from environments that inspired the creation of the motorcycle. None of the tattoos are in a given place accidentally, and all were thought out from the beginning, starting from a single element on the lamp, where a moth, which is always attracted to light, is tattooed, to the whole sequences of images that form a larger story. One such story can be found on the front wheel, where one can see a sequence of consecutive events, a bank robbery, prison, an escape attempt, death, a funeral. Tattoos are even in places that are invisible at first sight, such as inside the fuel tank. The recidivist sidecar was created in 2017 and had its world premiere at the Sturgis 2017 rally. The sidecar is fully tattooed both outside and inside and also on the tires. In terms of its construction, the sidecar is mainly related to the bike's fuel tank as it has similar construction made of two sheets of metal joined with tubes which imitates the look of a human spine. 
Sidecar tattoos also relate to motifs present on the bike, but as it usually is with tattoos, the more time passes, the more tattoos you get. That's why on the sidecar one can find new motifs relating to the abstract art of H.R. Geiger and Polish artist Zdzisław Bekszynski, as well as inspiration taken from real life, such as selected images from the history of the Harley-Davidson company. Construction of the motorcycle and sidecar took 3,000 hours. Tattooing of the bike and sidecar took over 2,500 hours. The recidivist has been featured on television and in magazines all over the world. So far, the motorcycle has received 11 domestic and international awards at the biggest custom bike shows in the world, including first place in the most unusual class in the Rats Hole Custom Bike Show, the oldest and most prestigious custom bike show in the world, organized at the biggest motorcycle rally in the world, the Sturgis Motorcycle Rally. <laughs>